Okay, so just to show you how easily it's supposed to open, you've got pretty much the button underneath here, the gray button, and then you hold on to the side here, not here because here this moves, or you even put your hand here, and just by pressing the button, that's how easily it's supposed to open. So if you're forcing it, then there must be something that's getting in the way. Same thing when you push the button and you slide it in, it's supposed to be really that simple. And then for the fold away seat, it's as easy as that. You can do it normally with your thumb. Press the button here and then slide it in. And then afterwards you slide the frame. So the step is, first you open the frame, put your hand maybe on this tube here, just easily slide it out like that. It should not be difficult to do. So I'll show you afterwards something that you can check. And then afterwards, fingers or thumbs, you press the button, pull it out completely and then just open it like that. And then same thing, you press the button to close, press the button here again, because there's security here for the child. So you press the button to just slide it in. And then after you slid, slid in the seat, then you fold it back. If this seems a little bit tough, you want to check maybe two things. Check that here, when you close, well, you don't have the exact same buckle because for the US we had a different buckle made, but it's pretty much the same size. But what I made was here a little hole inside the padding here. So that way you close the buckle and you put it here before you close it in. Because otherwise if it falls out and the seat doesn't fold completely flat, it's gonna make it more difficult to slide in. So you wanna make sure that that goes down as much as possible to be able to slide in underneath. Other thing you might wanna check is that here underneath here that the um, the two straps are really nice and flat because if the straps same thing get in the way it might be a problem afterwards for the seat everything is like so small in space because of finger pinching issues and testing and all that that um, any little thing like that could be a reason why it's a little bit more complicated to slide up and down when sliding, obviously, when you have the weight of your child, it might be a little bit tougher, but honestly, I mean, it's supposed to be like just as smooth as this. And then last thing while I'm on it that I want to show you, maybe also for the canopy, you want to make sure that your canopy, okay, I'm going to fold it down, that your canopy here is attached with this strap over the rod, that it covers the rod when it's put on the little button here. Same thing on both sides. This is really important because this is gonna help, you know, make the, the um, canopy go up and down really smoothly. And then just so that you know, the last thing is like, when you go up, we have three positions and then upright position. I saw that you put your daughter in the upright position. This position cannot have the canopy because it, the canopy is too small for that. Uh, this is actually a position that we added at the last minute, but that shouldn't have been. So normally the upright position is the second one, which here is good for the canopy. But since a lot of parents like the really straight position, we added this one instead. So this you can use, but don't be surprised that you can't use the canopy with this position. Uh, this is something that we'll develop in the future to make like a bigger canopy and tons of things. But right now it's just with the COVID, it's been almost impossible to do all that. So there we go. And feel free to let me know if you need me to show you anything else. I can send another video for that.